Jack from Onside, I'm here with uh, my daughter Ebony. Today we're going to be doing a homeschooling PE lesson with a twist. Last week I had to do some maths with her for, for part of her homeschooling, which we struggled, there was a few tears, so I thought I'm going to, this week I'm going to put it into what I know best and around, trying to incorporate it into a PE lesson for her. The first game that we're going to be doing today is Volcanoes and Ice Creams. For this you're going to need um, some corns. I will show you if you don't have corns available because not everybody does. It's very simple to have an alternative. For this, Ebony's going to be working on volcanoes. So we're going to lay lots of volcanoes around the area. And I'm going to be working with the ice creams. So we're going to have equal amount of ice creams and equal amount of the volcanoes. Ebony's job, if she sees a ice cream, she's going to turn it over and make a, a volcano. And if I see a volcano, I'm going to turn it over and make it into an ice cream. At the end of the game, so we'll play for probably a minute, um, Ebony is working as part of her math, she's working on her adding up in fives, so sequences of fives. So we're going to just be, any volcano that she gets is going to be worth five points. So at the end we're going to add up, if she has five, we'll do five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, so then that would work out her points. And we're going to do the same for the ice creams. You can do this if you're working with all the people for times tables. So if you've got eight left and they're working on a seven times table, you've just got eight times the seven and they've got a little sum to work out at the end of the game. All right. If you don't have cones available, we've done this inside or if you don't want to do it outside but you don't have cones, this um, so a bit of paper, one side is coloured, one side is plain. Very simple, same effect. Ebony would work with the colours, I would work with the, the plain side. All right, hope you enjoy. Right, we've set up our area, half our volcanoes, half our ice creams. Ebony, you're gonna try and turn my ice creams into volcanoes and I'm gonna try and get her volcanoes into ice creams. You ready? Three, two, one, go, go. The wind is blowing them all over as well. Helping you. Five seconds left. Four, five, three, two, one, and freeze. Right. Collect up all your volcanoes. Go on then. Right, we've collected all Ebony's volcanoes. I've got my ice cream, so Ebony's going to be counting in fives because that's what she's working at. So we'll start off. Five, ten, fifteen. 25, 30, 30 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 55, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, Right, see what I got. Are you ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Right, right for this next activity, Ebony needs to be learning some sequences. So on a bit of paper I've just put there's a like five, ten, then there's a gap, twenty, twenty-five, and then another gap. Her job is obviously to fill these in. We've designed a game about how to get to to collect one of these. We've done lots of these. And then she will take them back, work them out, and then obviously carry on the next activity. I've made this into a Roblox Tower of uh, PE. She loves Roblox, so it's something to get her engaged. Again, if you're working with older people, these sums or um, challenges on, on the bit paper can be anything. All right, so whatever they're working at, put them in there. Brings it into PE, maybe adds a bit more uh, enjoyment for the, for the children who maybe enjoy PE and, and struggle to focus on their, on their maths. Right, for this next one that involves all the challenges that we showed you on the, on the bit of paper, we put the bit of paper, um, lots of the challenges, under a green cone. 
to make our way to that green corn um, she likes playing on Roblox as I said which is a little bit of an obstacle course so I've made an obstacle course for Ebs to work her way through involves, involves some uh, throw catch some accuracy some balancing when she gets to the end she's going to get one of the challenges she'll make her way back work out the challenge on the whiteboard over there so we'll show you that in a minute and once she's completed that she'll work her way um, back through to level two we'll see if we can complete all the sums you can either do it in a time or you can just work together and just see if she can complete all the sums there balance on that one on that one. That's it, get one of the challenges and work your way back through these ones. Anywhere you want, how do you do it? So when she gets back I'm using a whiteboard to do the challenges. Again you can just use some paper. So this is the challenge that she has got. Let me uh, is this one here okay Can you hold up? there you go Fantastic, good girl. Okay, and then after this, um, she just repeats until all the sums are done. Right, this last game that we're going to be doing is called Tidy Your Room. For this, um, we've split the area that we're working in into two. Ebony's going to have one side, I'm going to have the other side. I've used socks because not everybody has balls. Um, so we've got 16 pairs of socks here. Ebony has eight on her side, I've got eight on mine. The object of the game is to tidy room. So we're going to have one minute. Ebony's going to get rid of all of her socks into my area. I'm going to try and get all my socks into hers. You can add a dodgeball aspect to this as well. For example, rather than just throwing the, the socks anywhere, you can have it so if, say, for example, Ebony picks a pair of socks and she throws it at me and she gets me anywhere be below the waist, I'm froze for three seconds. So I've got to stand frozen and that just gives her more time to to get the her socks into my area. Plus adds a bit of fun because the kids like throwing stuff at you. All right. right, you ready? I've got to scatter mine about, all right? Right, you ready? Yeah! Steady, go. Yeah. Oh, I got you, you're froze. Go, 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 go. Get rid of all these. Get rid of all these. Right, you're going again, you're going. Go, go, go. I'll let you for a freeze. Go quick, quick, get rid of all your socks. Get rid of them all. Take off. Oh, look at you. Get off on your side, you. Oh, look at all yours. So I'm 
win that because you got more points on your side. All right, give me one more pat. We'll play again, all right? Go. watching hope you enjoyed uh, hopefully gives you another idea of maybe how to do some of the homeschooling i found it really hard last week so i've been racking my brains come up with that uh, mix the maths in with the pe which i for me found a lot easier and more enjoyable did you enjoy it ebs yes okay uh, we'll be back later on in the week we'll do another pe lesson for you stay safe and stay active